Good afternoon, all my crawl. What? Uh, so, I did not record yesterday. I really didn't have much to record about. Or did I record yesterday? I think I did record yesterday. I don't know, y'all. I got to go back and look at the blog. So, today is my little sister, one of my little sisters. That's by my... My mother only has two children, me, I'm the oldest, and my little sister, she just turned dirty 30 today, so happy birthday to her, um, sorry I'm chewing this gum like this, but it's good, um, what else, I want to speak a little bit on, about the Bells Plus One, guys, you have to stop getting caught up. And other people's lives. I don't know, no other nice way Good to morning. put it. Or, you know, sugar coated or nothing like that. Stay out of people's lives. If you do not want to see what Marseille Bell or Uriah Bell or Mariah Bell is putting out for their content don't watch it amazes me how people go into people public records even though it's public and it's for the public to view it amazes me how people go in there and try to dig dirt just so they can see what other people are doing with their lives or try to piece things together this man could have a want totally different from what happened to her house this man could have a want for what happened to her house but if y'all are not going to help him out with this one if y'all are not going to bail him out of jail if you're not going to help Marcia find another place why worry yourself with it like youtube is for entertainment and people do stuff for entertainment. So why worry yourself upon what other people's doing? You can't worry yourself on other people. Some people is like, look at her lip. Her lip is not moving. It appears so And Marseille has a very uh, thick full face. Her lips are thick at the top. So if her lip is not moving much, it's because... Uh, that's just how her lip is made. Uh, her face always looks full to me, so I would not know if her face is swollen because I really do not care about the Bells Plus One and their life behind the camera other than what they show us. Now, I like them, and yes, yeah, she can be a little messy at times. I don't know who does it. I don't know who in their life is not a little messy at times. I have been messy at times. I can still be messy at times because this is my life. I only have one life. Everybody has one life to live. And if I don't make the best of it, then who will? You know, I can afford to be messy. She can afford to be messy because no one is going to come in and help me sweep this mess up but myself and Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to... Uh, reiterate on some things. Y'all, my back itch. I wanted to reiterate on some things that I had heard and I watched the, this person's video because I just wanted to hear what they had to say. But I feel like you messy for even allowing the person, whoever it may be, to send you over information about somebody else uh life like basically this person who sent this other young lady information basically went digging too far to try to say Uriah did it or he didn't do it if he did it who does not have arguments in a marriage in a relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend I sometimes have arguments with my children so, because they don't do what I want them to do all the time. But I feel like 
she puts out too much, first of all. Now, this is not to depict that I don't love watching them. But she puts out too much of her business. I'm not going to put out, you know, where I live at, where I'm moving to, all this crazy stuff. Now, if he put his hands on her, it's a different story. But that's not being a man. But I'm quite sure he did not put his hands on her or she would not be with him right now. And if she is with him after putting his hands on her, who business is it but they is. That's not our business. Okay? Because we're not going to help her. We're not going to help her daughter. We're not going to help her husband's situation. If he does have a want, indeed. Um, for vandalizing her house, because he got mad, they was in the heat of the moment, and he started destroying things in there. Then, you know, that's their business. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So, guys, I'm back. Um, my son is the only one home today, and he's a little antsy because he has no one to play with. Uh, like now. I had been eating considerably a lot. My face was much fuller. Um, my lips looked swollen. And it's only because I had five days, guys, to my cycle. And so this is what happens to things that's on my face. Put it up. Uh, this is the things that happen to my face when my cycle is about to arrive. You know, I can't help that. But leave it to the gawkers. And people who want to make little things out of, out of nothing. Oh, her face has gotten fatter. Do you see how she's talking? Uh, look at her jaw. This is bubblegum. Bubblegum. See how when I removed it and put it back, it looked more bigger. Believe it to someone who's a hater on my channel will say my husband probably hit me. Which is a no-no in my family. A no-no. And he knows not to put his hands on me. Should I say that? My husband is a man and he will never put his hands on me. Not to say that we have never argued. And not to say that we do not argue. Because we are two different human beings that God has joined together. That we try to make our life easy. So... I just don't understand why people take this YouTube shit so seriously. And excuse me for my language. I just don't understand. Because it's pure entertainment. Majority of it is true and the rest of it is not. Like, people put themselves out here to entertain other people. It's like comedic, com comedic, comedians. I couldn't get it out, y'all. Y'all know I can hardly ever talk. Comedians take people lives around them their family their friends their teachers uh they people at work and they replicate what they have seen and make and give different names for different people so please y'all this is a lesson to the wise stop taking these people youtube pages seriously because 65% of it is true and the rest is not. This is how we get paid. This is a job to us. We get paid for entertaining the watchers. I do not deal with ignorance. I've already had one ignorant person on my channel. I won't even argue with you. I will block you. That's why they have block buttons. I will block your ass. And that's just how it is. Family, no family, stranger, friends, cat, dog, Tom, Dick, and Harry. I will block your ass. I don't need you to make my success go. I don't. My success stems from me, the content I put out, and the quality of my videos. That's where stuff stems from. That's where my money is going to stem from. My money is not going to stem because I block a hater. Life will go on. One monkey don't stop, no show. So please, black people, please 
stop falling for these traps. Stay out of people's business. That's why so many people are out here getting killed. That's why the black generation is going low. Because people don't know how to mind your business. Mind your business. You're not going to go over there and pay a dollar for the damn shit she got. Y'all not going to go over there and play counselor for her relationship. Y'all not going to go see if her daughter is okay. Y'all are going to just keep gossiping. If you're not going to help, there's no need to talk. I just wanted to get that out of the way because uh, I am getting more and more subscribers. And thank you guys for all my new crawfish. I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I do want to acknowledge you guys when y'all do come over. Y'all are official crawfish now, and I thank you guys because if it wasn't for you guys, my channel would not be booming the way it is. Um, like I said, I went from having no subscribers at one time to having like three or four subscribers. Then I went from having those to 10 subscribers. From 10 subscribers, um, I now have 18 subscribers. And I'm very grateful for it because I never thought I would get to this point. And many of the big subscribers are probably say 18 subscribers. Yes, y'all once was there. I have 18 subscribers and I'm very grateful for the 18 subscribers that I have which are a million subscribers i will get there too so you guys the hubby is off today and we will be doing the whisper challenge but until then i love you guys always stay blessed and never let anyone steal your joy Hey, y'all, my crawfish. I know y'all like, where has she gone? Why has she disappeared? Sorry, my appearance is not up to par. But as you see, the background is different in here. This is a picture, y'all, when I was, this is my oldest daughter. And when I was pregnant with my five-year-old, and, and she, the twin was still alive. So... As y'all know, I no longer, well, y'all don't know, so let me fill you in on the tea. I do not live with Katrina anymore. Uh, she pulled a fast one, and her caseworker came out, and we had to leave that same day. So I am now at my grandmother's house, and I will be here until the first. And guys, I am moving back to Virginia. I won't be disclosing what part of Virginia, but I will be moving back to Virginia. So this vlog is going to include from the 19th to the 23rd, which is today. And um, that's how I'm going to combine it. Hold on, y'all. It became such a big part of our culture. I had to get this piece. This is phenomenal. Yeah. Why you had this so y'all that was my grandmother y'all heard talking i let y'all hear things raw and live and live in color so we are going back to virginia i cannot take it up here our caseworker is uh not being honest not being truthful the caseworker is doing everything it can he can to keep us waiting when he knows we don't have a place to stay and I'm not liking that. Um, another thing is, I just, if you just can't get things that you want to do here in Washington, D.C. are always canceled out because Washington, D.C. is so, 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 you know, expensive. It's nothing here besides my children, and she can always come see me. I'm getting a car this tax time, and um, we will be going back and forth with it. So, to come and see my family, his family, um, and that's how it's going to be. So, yep. So, guys, I... I'm sorry that I have not been vlogging, but that is what it's going to be. And yes, I am happy to be going back to Virginia. And I didn't care what part of Virginia as long as I got out of D.C. That's how I felt. 
Um, and y'all, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So my husband has not been here with us because I don't want to put that extra burden on my grandmother. She's 87 years old. And I was blessed that she was able enough to let us come up here and stay with her. So my husband did pay her today for her for her letting us stay here but he will be spending the night tomorrow due to Christmas coming so um yep I'm just standing out here waiting for me and the kids pizza because it is cold it isn't really that cold but it's cold enough and um I'm hungry guys I'm so so hungry and the guy was supposed to be here I don't know where he at. So, I came out here to stand and wait for him. My husband was mad because I went with my mother to get her uh, car fixed. And I had missed him, but he turned around and came back. He loves me. He just upset that, you know, he cannot be and see us the way he's supposed so to. So, I back to let you guys know. Please that um we will be moving on the first like i said and um everything will be okay i just got finished eating and cut my video off so i have to clear some things off of my memory i love you guys stay blessed and never let nobody steal your joy